Hey there, Mac users and Mac Automators. This is Bakari Shivani with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about time triggers in Keyboard Maestro. I haven't done a Keyboard Maestro video or tutorial in quite a long time, and so I'm anxious to really show this really easy um, macro that you can create in Keyboard Maestro. So if you are yeah, new to Keyboard Maestro, uh, this is one of the first triggers that I suggest using and creating. And so basically, this is what it does is it's a, it's a time trigger that you can set any for any time and any day or combination of days. So, for example, in this particular one, I have a, uh, a web page called Manage WP that I need to have it open every Friday, and I wanted to have it open when I arrive in my office, you know, after 8.30. And so it's really simple. Um, what it does is it activates Arc, which is the web browser I use, and then it goes to this particular uh, web page. It, so it aut automatically opens it up. I don't have to think about it. When I come into my office, it's already set. If I wanted to open it up more than one time a week, I can do that. Or even if I wanted to go and I wanted to add another time, say I wanted to open up on... You know, so I can click all these off the ones here, like this, and then I say I wanted to open up on Tuesday as well, and but I wanted to open say at, you know, one one thirty p.m. or something like that. So I can do that and set it up. This is a really good management tool because it's just one less thing I have to do, and any time that I can you know, use time triggers to get things done, I, I, I try to do it. I don't use them a lot, but the few times that I do use it is really, really helpful. Now, let me talk to you about some other uh, time triggers in here. There's another one called uh, periodic uh, time triggers. And that means that if I wanted this to open um, between, uh, let's say, 8.30 and 5.30, and I wanted to open every... 10 minutes or like, or like every hour, something like that. So I'll say, take it down to every hour. So there's something that I want to have a reminder to do like every hour. If I want to take a break every hour, then I can just do that and have something happen. And then you can select which days you want it to do that. Uh, so that's another one you can do. And then this, um, another one that's, uh, that is called a cron time time, and the cron time is there's a there's a help page that Keyboard Maestro puts out, and I'm going to leave that into in the in the um, show notes description. Is that you can set a thing for the trigger on a certain day of the month and a certain time. So right here it says at 12, uh, 12 15 on Saturday, which is also day one and seven of every month. So it's the first Saturday of each month. So it's a little bit complicated on how to use it, but the instructions are really good. It gives you a lot of good examples how to do it. But again, this opens up a particular web page and, uh, and, and goes, opens up my Slack on, on the first Saturday of the month. Now, if I'm at my computer, which I usually am at that time, right, suppose I, I don't want it to do that, I want to stop it. So basically, I can go here and I go set actions to time out. And I'm not sure if you even see that because I'm, I'm kind of, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of recording the window so you might not be able to see that. But there is, there is an action inside, um, inside keyboard maestro in which it uh you can have the action if you go here and you have it click on this and you have it says you know set action to time out you can do that and that way i can have time to stop the action from running if i want to do that so then um let's see what else do we have you can also do what's called wake triggers and that's kind of a time trigger as well. So when your, your computer wakes at a certain time, this trigger will run. The same thing it has for um, a sleep trigger here, right? Same thing. So if your computer goes to sleep at a time, you want, you want something to run before it goes to sleep, um, you can do that as well. 
So that's, um, and I use it for also amphetamine is another app that I use. And basically I want it to come on, I want my computer to come on um, when it, at 8.30 in the morning. And I want it to, uh, periodically, I want amphetamine to run every two hours uh, during this time. And basically what's happening here is that I'm triggering the shortcut for amphetamine trigger there so that's a that's another app that you can get in the mac app store and uh here's another one that i can do here i have a staff meeting um every monday and again this it asked me because i'm usually at the, i'm definitely at the computer because i know the meeting is going to happen but i just wanted to go ahead and open up and you know, just go ahead and log into Zoom for me, open up the Zoom meeting for me, but I can also stop it if I want as well, uh, if, I'm, if, if the meeting's been canceled or if I'm just not going to go into the meeting at all. So basically, that's something that's a really easy way to get started with Keyboard Maestro. And if you, if you haven't never used Keyboard Maestro, you can get, a, I think, a 30-day free trial and you know it's it's one of the applications i've been using for like eight years or so or 10 years i don't know but quite a long time and there's a lot you can learn from it i have a playlist of uh you know tutorials about using keyboard maestro mainly ideas for using keyboard maestro and there are also other videos that you can look up here on youtube so i really appreciate you taking the time to check it out if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. And if you're not following this channel, definitely do that because I'm posting videos every Tuesday now uh, for as long as I can. And if I give you give me your feedback and some ideas and things that you want to know more about, that will also be helpful. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.